My father found the spring in 1950. A mail carrier in Kansas City told him that he knew a mail carrier in Douglas County and there was a fish farm down here with a big old spring. Came down and found it, went to the courthouse, found out who owned it, asked him if they'd sell it, and negotiated a deal. This spring fed Lake Crystal and my father then named it Crystal Lake Fishers. They were going to do several species, did minnows to start off with, he had a bait route and so on and so forth. Grandiose ideas, we're going to raise all kinds of fish, we're going to have ponds and we're going to do this fish, we're going to do that fish and everything like that. Turned out that 59 degree water is not great for warm water fish, it's great for rainbow trout. And so we started doing trout and you fall in love with what works. We're still working together as a family. So I work day in and day out with my brother Marvin. He's the CEO of the fish hatchery, the mastermind. We had fishing here in the 60s and the 70s. We lost all of our tourists. So we said, well, we can't pump the tourists in here. So what are we gonna do? Well, we'll take the trout to the, to the population. Everything we raise up here is loaded onto our trucks live and stocked live at the customer's location. It's full time all the time. We can do 4,000 pounds on a truck. Smaller trucks, we can do 1,000 to 2,000 pounds, 600 pounds on a pickup. For probably 20 years, we've had our own strain. We're DNA, so we have the Emerson strain of rainbow trout. We're a closed hatchery, we export only. They naturally spawn in the fall, and we'll take those eggs and we'll incubate them in our hatch house or our hatchery. And basically, we'll run water over those eggs until they eye up and hatch out, and then we'll raise the fry up until they're old enough to move out of the hatchery into our flow through rescue system. The time on the farm varies depending on what the customer wants. We can sell a load of two inch fish and a load of two pound fish the same day. The majority of the, what we sell is stocked uh, directly in water for people to catch. When I first started working here, everything we raised was stocked and fished for or stocked and grown out at another facility. Bass feed has became a big thing. People are stocking rainbow trout for the sole purpose of feeding trophy bass lakes. Right now we're just looking at perpetuation. Um, Marvin and I are both semi-retired. I think Marvin's cut back to probably 50, 60 hours a week and I'm down to 40, 45. So involving the youth and the family in a positive direction gives us that opportunity to be able to hopefully stay in business. For our fish uh, out in the recreational lake streams, uh, they're a real joy to fish for. Our fish are fast biting and hard fighting. <laughs>